hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to talk about something new and which is like this ui i'm going to talk about how to make this react native curve bottom bar in react native very quick and easy way so to make this in react native what you have to do i'm going to tell you that if you're using cli you can also do that and if you're using expo you can do that all right so first of all what you have to do you have to search npm i react native curve bottom bar okay once you search this package name react native curve bottom bar you have to open this package so you can see this this is a package name i will also put it in the description box after that you have to copy this command okay and go back to the project so this is my project i'm, I'm gonna just install this package npm i react native curve bottom bar quickly so it will get installed quickly and we're gonna see that okay so meanwhile it's installing this uh you know this package what we're gonna do next we're gonna go to the browser and click on this github repository they have they have mentioned one example so we're gonna use this examples and if you're using cli what you have to do you just install this package okay and after that you have to also install this uh you know this package as well like uh what do you call spz and also this reactive bottom caps if you're using cli but i'm using expo so i have to just install this package all right now after this i'm gonna just restart my server and me start okay and here you can see that if you use if you want to add inside the root level you can add but i'm gonna just add on the tab level so if you see this currently we have this kind of tab let me reload the app you can see this if we have this kind of tabs now what i want i want a curve bottom tab bar so what i have to do i have to go inside the tabs and inside the layout we're going to copy this whole code if you see this example is called down to the repository and if you see this example code snippet just copy this code snippet and here we're going to just paste it out okay once we paste that once we paste that you will see some error will come up if i reload the app you will see the some error like looks like you have nested navigation container all right so because inside the layout we have already navigation container by default right so what we have to do inside this layout we have to just remove this navigation container and i'm gonna just make it fragment okay once i done with this and if i reload this app you can see that we get this icon okay uh you know we get this screen and also we get this curve bottom tab bar but if you see this this is the question mark we can't see any icon here right so here we can update this ios home outline like this and here it will get replaced with the home icon okay now after this let's try to understand the code base what is happening on first of all we are importing the curve bottom bar expo from the react native curve bottom bar, curve, uh, curve bottom bar expo so you know the one more thing guys just wanted to let you know if you see this like once you scroll down there they have mentioned one you know example okay so if you're using an expo so you have to copy this snippet and if you're using cli so you have to copy this code snippet okay so we had copied the top one after that they had also provided some props to handle the stuffs the first props is that like type down or up so they, they have mentioned like this is this should be down or up this is the one so we want a down, down one okay now after this let's talk about this so first of all we are importing this curve bottom bar dot navigator here we will define the uh, type down and here we can also define the bottom bar styles like uh, if you want to define extra uh, you know specific like if you, i just wanted to make a background color as a red let's see what is going to happen if i just apply background color as a red so you can see this this has become background color as a red so you can apply this you know property if you wanted to how, apply something else okay now after this uh, we're gonna have, have a shadow as well we have to define height what the height we want like if you wanted to hide is 100 you can define height as 100 as well like whatever the height you want and you can see the bottom bar if i want to define some you know margin or padding like margin vertical as a 20 if i just define it so you can see that this comes on the margin like this apply your margin okay that, that's you all up can apply after that we have like you know initial outer name background color and border top left right you know all the things also there's one thing if you see this like this is a one screen home screen and this is another screen which is a setting screen so i'm gonna just update the name so inside this inside this we are having this uh, two screen we can define the first screen the first screen title gonna be as a home screen so if i click on this you can see this is a home and this is a color we're gonna make this as a setting okay and you can see that the icon get removed right to fix this icon what we have to do 
here on the top we had defined one function render tab bar icon like you know inside the render tab bar we have function this is called render icon so if you have a title is a home then render home outline and if you have the next title which is called setting then render this setting icon okay so you can define that all the icons and if it's the selected color like if it's the router name or selected color is equal to if it's same then you have to render this black so i'm going to just if it's selected then red, render as the color is a red okay so you can define that all also if you see this this is the curve circle like if you click on this it's saying action right so for that uh, you know there's one thing uh, what is that yeah here we have props called render circle and here we can define one component like this is gonna be like this let me cut it from here okay and you can define whatever the component you want like it's gonna be like this const render circle okay and we're gonna have like this one component and here we're gonna just return this component okay so i'm gonna just return that component quickly okay render circle component like this and uh, we're gonna pass this here render circle and we're gonna get that component and whatever like if you wanted to apply something cool like you know inside this uh, whenever the user click on this it should be like you know uh, perform this option like it's a you know touchable opacity and we're just rendering one icons so whatever you want to do you can do that like if you wanted to open any new screens you, you can also do that or like if you want to just have a one scanner like you know something a scanner uh maybe you know you can do like whatever the icon you want you can add that as well and you can perform that like mostly like a google pay like you know or something app inspiration also uh there's one other thing that if you want to define a screen like here you can see a uh, one screen we have a uh, position left and we had defined the screen one okay so this is how you can also define a multiple screen like if i just you know uh, make it like this view and you can write it multiple lines as well if you want to write multiple lines and this is gonna be like this text i am at home view something like this and it say like text doesn't exist so let me import the text from the react native so i imported the text from the react native and couldn't found skin name title one let me reload this still like could not find oh that's weird okay okay not a bug not a big deal not a big deal so we have a screen one right and we are just returning this view style dot screen one and okay i'm just thinking i'm getting some error cannot find a screen name title one okay so sterling cannot find a screen name title one so yeah we don't have any title one name here we define initial router name initial router name is title one so we're gonna just initial router name will be home instead of title one because we had updated the title now let me reload let me reload the app now you can see the i'm at home view so whatever the customization you need you can just add it here and you can see that so yeah this is how you can update that and if you see some warnings is there right so this is a type script warning so we can just figure it fix it out so for the selected tab we can have a you know uh, you can just have do a chat GPT and like just add that as well so we can have like this so for the route name it's gonna be uh, it's string maybe string something like that and selected tab will be as well string and for the navigate you can also define it for now i'm going to just defining as a name as any so you can define all the property like all the types if per requirements and yeah that's all i think guys you can do it yeah and this is how you can get rid of this all the type script warnings so yeah uh, this is how you can make a react native curve bottom tab bar quick and easy way just summary summarizing it up again so how do you can fix it out first install this package after that copy this example code snippet if you are using export just copy this and if you are using cli make sure to copy this code snippet okay now once you're done with this the next thing which you're gonna do uh, that is called for cli you can install this package as well as pc and react navigation bottom tabs and after that you can do your you know changes and this is how it kind of works so yeah that's all in this video guys let me know if you have any questions also please make sure to visit zero degree quarter dot n here you can find a uh, more powerful courses or like you know something cool courses which can make your learning quite a bit easier and something cool so if you wanted to build a music cool application you can check out this course and this is a really cool and awesome course
so yeah that's all in this video guys let me know if you have any question you can reach out to me on contact out or about us thank you bye